I'm AJ R, and today I'm taking you through a stretch to help you wind down at the end of the day. It shouldn't take more than about five minutes, but just find somewhere that's got lots of space and you're in something comfy and that you can move in. We're going to start with something called the child's pose. So you're coming up onto your knees, feet resting just behind you, hands reaching forwards. Just rest that chest down towards the thighs. Relax the shoulders, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. One more breath. Slowly walking the hands back in towards you. We're coming up on to your bottom. Just tuck those legs out in front of you. Hands down by your sides. Feet slightly wider than hip width. Dropping both knees over to one side. And back to centre. Over to the other side. This is just loosening off the hips helping to get a little bit more mobility within the hips, knees and ankles. Trying to keep that back fairly straight for now. You'll notice that the inside leg doesn't drop all the way down just yet. We've still got a little bit of structure within our movement. And what we can do from there is then start to drop both knees all the way over. You'll find a twist in the body, then come back to centre, twist the other way. One more on each side here. Stretching the legs straight out in front of us, squeeze them together a little bit closer, about hip width. Feet can be flexed or they can be pointed, or if you prefer, they can just rest nice and gently. We're reaching forwards and up with our hands. So as we reach forwards, breathe out. As we come up, breathing in. If you'd like more of a stretch, flex those feet back. If you'd like less of a stretch, reach those toes forwards. One more there. We're going to adapt to that slightly. Lift one knee slightly off the floor. That other leg is staying out straight. We reach forwards. We're trying to get our heads down towards that straight knee. And then up, we squat legs before the next rep. So just a few more here and you'll find that you can get a little bit further on one side when that knee is slightly bent. It just helps you to stretch out the back of the legs and that lower back. Last one here. Good, relax, shake those legs, take a moment. We're going to bring it on to our side, just resting up on the forearm and the elbow, uh, bottom leg out straight and top leg is just coming up towards the bottom, squeeze that hand around the ankle, around the foot, just push the hips slightly forwards making sure the knees are together, just hold it there, you'll feel a stretch down the front of the leg, just focus on that breathing. And release that leg. We're taking that on the other side. Just turn the body over, resting up on that forearm, foot towards your bottom, and squeezing those knees together whilst you're pushing the hips slightly forwards. that foot coming once more just back onto your bottom legs both out straight again about hip width hands are coming up behind the head and sitting up as tall as you can going to take a deep breath in 
then slowly drop that chin to chest, then start to roll down through each vertebrae all the way so those elbows are reaching down towards the thighs. Once you get there, you just hold it, it may feel quite tight down the spine, especially if you've been sat down at your desk all day. Just keep focusing on that breathing, let gravity do the work. Slowly uncurling to lift the elbows first, rolling up through that spine. Lift the head, give those legs a shake, give those arms a shake. Just bring yourself back round. Try not to stand up too quickly, you don't want to get a head rush or feel dizzy or anything while you've been laying down and doing your stretches for the last few minutes. If you have enjoyed my workout, please download and subscribe to my app. There are loads more workouts, a lot longer, lots and lots of stretching or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, take care.